It's kind of weird feeling though because your finger is not really going to enjoy uh, your hands are not going to really enjoy this configuration you feel like you're kind of twisted in some way So today we're going to have a bit of a fun by reviewing Ambernix's latest model of RG35XXSP. So I think S stands for small and P for portable because unlike the previous RG35XX range, this one falls. Now one of the biggest disappointments that initially made me hesitant to buy this model is that it doesn't come with the toggle button. I find toggle button to be very useful, especially games like Street Fighters, like those fighting games and so on. So let's find out how we're gonna overcome that difficulty. So this one is the blue transparent model because I love blue color and transparent range always make things look really cool. So I think it's gonna be chunkier than I imagine it's gonna be because it has a bit of a weight on it. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing, shall we? So. Here it goes, so you pull it out, look at that. It's quite chunky as I predicted. If we pull this out, this comes with screen wipes, very typical Ambernet way of presenting their packaging. We've got the screen protector shield, the good quality USB-C, nice, look at that. You can actually see the back of the screen because this is transparent. So cool, isn't it? So from the top, we got the L1 and L2, R1 and R2, the USB OTG slot and the mini HDMI cable slot. On the left-hand side, we got volume up and down. On the right-hand side, we got the power on and off and reset button. On the bottom, we got the headphone jack, the internal memory card slot, the external memory card slot. So if we open it up, we got the main screen, left, right, up and down button, and the manual button, and then A, B, X, Y, the speaker here, and the start, and the select button as well. This, as we know, is the LED or small light bulb indication of power on and off, and also charging. All right, so I can see the green light flashing there, and we got Ambernic. So we got, on the left-hand side, game rooms, RA game favorites. Uh, this is the history search app center and settings app center is a bit unusual for the first time i think i'm seeing this so if we click on it we got music video ebook file manager expert and app so i guess this is for music player because you can fold it and listen to music video all oh, right so you've got to transfer the data to be able to watch videos on it ebooks again i think you've got to download files to be able to read it apps if we click on it that's also based on what sort of files you install so now on the settings we've got the system information lock screen backlight brightness io test date and time language settings retro art settings network settings icon settings Background settings, button sound, button custom, clearing record, work like stasis during sleep, reboot, and shutdown. So on the game rooms, if we click on it, we got PSP games. There are 11 games on there. PS1, we got 29. Vertical games, we got the 156 games overall. CPS1, 30. CPS2, 36. CPS3, there's five. Neo Geo, there's 152 games. FB Neo, there's about 473. MAME, 493. GBA, 232. Uh, NES games, there are 432. Super NES, 429. SMS, which is 353. MD, 481. Sega, 32X9. GBC, there are 375. GB game 403, PCE there's 328, uh, this is NGPC 41, GG game 328, and lastly WSC games 73 games. Now the RA games I would say is better emulated sort of way of playing and it's pretty much the same sort of game list of what we just gone through so please do check it out so you have more of a original feel to it. So out of PSP games, I think Tekken 6 sound like one of the most advanced games so far. So let's try that out. Oh dear. It's a bit slow, isn't it? Oh no, that's not good. It's slowing down. Come on, you can do better than that. 
So it's trying to get faster, but it's very slow. So like usual, let's play the Final Fantasy VII USA version. Now this time it's great news because we don't need any of those separated discs. It seems like it's all in one. Come on, let's hear it. Here it goes again. Right, so here it goes. No sign of slowing down. Well done. That's very good. Okay, so I would say that's really well performed. So well done for that. Here it goes. Parang. Eddie. Yep. No delay whatsoever. There you go. So no delays, perfectly performed. All right, so we're playing the vertical game and I have to admit, it's much better than I thought it's gonna be because we all know this is supposed to be a landscape, but now we're actually playing on a vertical. So the up, down, left, right is designed to be a vertical way. So um, it's kind of weird feeling though, because your finger is not really gonna enjoy uh, your hands are not going to really enjoy this configuration. You feel like you're kind of twisted in some way, um, but it's doable again. Uh, the only downside again is that as you press all these things, the screen itself is pressing hard against your right hand. Ah, the good old double dragon. Yeah, so you're not going to have any trouble playing the double dragon. You know, this move It's very important. Normally it will be much slower when you have more than three guys trying to attack you on Double Dragon on classical arcade games. Okay, that's this is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, because we haven't got a toggle button, I can't do any again. Okay. So you can yeah you can do or you again. Oh I do again. Okay. That's good. I could do it. Oh there you go. It wasn't my intention. I'm just pressing down, front, down, front. So I'm sure many of you are going to ask me how many uh, Pokemon games that is available on this device. Well, it turns out there's 54 of them. That is amazing, isn't it? Oh my God. I used to play this game all the time when I was a kid. Yeah, just the way I remember. I'm actually playing much better than when I was a kid. There you go. <laughs> It's dawned to me now that the way how they die is so funny. They die really sissy. There you go. Yeah, I love the tank. Again, this is one of my favorite King of Fighters series. So my favorite move involves doing either this way or that way. And we all know this, but no, it's not working. I really need a toggle button. Otherwise, I'm not going to enjoy the King of Fighters series at all. So as predicted, it's a huge disappointment but it was easily predictable. So here it goes, let's play the Warrior of Faith. I don't know whether this is Japanese or Chinese upgraded version, but whoa, we've got three sisters as well on this one. So let's do that. Oh yes, that works, that's fine. Fun time, bonus round. Oh gosh. It's all these guys like becoming piece of meat feel sorry for them actually. Right, so I'm actually connected to the mini HDMI cable. As you can see, the screen goes blank. So this suddenly becomes a controller. That's a good quality, isn't it? So this is much comfortable, isn't it? It won't hurt your neck because you're not looking down. You're actually looking at the screen. Okay, there's a bit of a pause there. Oh dear, almost playable, but not playable. Oh, actually it's getting better. <laughs> my secret weapon. I'll show you a cheat, by the way. They hate this. <laughs> so easy to win. There you go. So indeed, this RG35XX SP unit folds, so it actually protects your main screen and all your buttons and so on. So your hands are closer to 
help you to press the L1, L2, R1, R2 buttons and so on. Yeah, so that's all good. But again, the biggest downside of this uh, configuration is that there's no toggle button. I wish they could actually have it here for some way. You could pull it out and put it back in or so on. That would be perfect because again, I do a lot of fighting games and uh, this is horrible. And that's something I predicted, but I just want to try out to see whether there's going to be any software improvement and so on. Again, talking about the software itself, uh, there's like all these ebook and music player. There's certainly an upgrade on that side, so I can see they're constantly on the improvement. I mean, it's not a huge disappointment, but just for me, I just need that toggle button. Um, and it's actually, again, chunkier than I thought it's going to be. So this is my Z Flip 4. I mean, some people say it's actually better to carry it in your pocket and so on. Yes, it protects everything again, going back to the original conversation, but it is indeed still quite chunky. Um, and I guess mainly it's due to the fact that uh, the size of the screen, they got to compensate all this and so on. So I hope this video sort of explain uh, what this RJ35XX SP unit is all about. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LGBT. All the best. Bye-bye.